Good day, students. How is your day? I'm still your teacher, Mr. Samuel Oji. I'm still going to take you on government, SS1. Today, we are going to look at the topic, fascism. Today, we are still going to look at the topic, fascism. Before we look at this topic, fascism, I want us to look at the objectives we intend to achieve at the end of this topic. At the end of this topic, I assure you that you will know or be conversant with the meaning of fascism. Another one is that you will be able to say the features of fascism. Features of fascism and we are equally going to look at totalitarianism as a part of fascism. And you are still going to know the features of totalitarianism. Fascism, by way of definition, simply means extreme use of force by a government to rule its people. Extreme use of force by a government to rule its people. Fascism developed in Italy under the leadership of Bessonino, Benito Mussolini, Benito Mussolini. In fact, fascism means the regime of extreme use of tyrannism, despotism, or totalitarianism. Fascism is when we put tyrannism, despotism, or totalitarianism, where we put it in, in motion or in work, we now refer to such a system as fascism. Having said that, without wasting time, let us go to the features of fascism. Features of fascism. The first feature of fascism is that it encourages aggressive nationalism. By encouraging aggressive nationalism simply means that in fascism, you dare not oppose the government. You must obey them. No matter what they say, you don't have a say. And when you do such, without your, your will, you're not willingly obeying the government of the day, we term such a situation to mean aggressive nationalism. The second feature of fascism is that it, it is anti-communism. Anti communism. That means that it doesn't welcome anything that belongs or does with communal dealings or communal living. Fascism is anti-communism. It doesn't welcome anything that does with communal living, where everything is done communally, shared um, equally, and so on and so forth. The next feature of fascism is that is that it condemns both capitalism and socialism. It doesn't support both socialism and capitalism. You already know what socialism is all about. Where government does, is in charge of production, distribution, and exchange of goods and services. Whereby capitalism is where individuals are in charge of such um, activities. Now we say that um, fascism is against the two type of systems. Now, another one is that fascism, another feature is that fascism glorifies war. According to fascists, they believe, or people who um, are preachers of fascism, or supporters of fascism, they believe that when they fight war, they become more um, intact, or they become more friendly with their opponents, or with their opposition, or with opposition. So we said that fascism glorifies war. The next one is that, next feature is that, that's the fifth feature, is that fascism rejects peace and believe that everlasting peace, they reject peace and believe that everlasting peace is achieved through war, like I've said before. Then the next feature of fascism, that is the sixth one, is that the philosophy rejects the principle of rule of law. You already know what rule of law means. We are everybody is equal before the law. In fascism, everybody is not equal. We have people who are in the hands of affairs of the government as 
people who are above the law, whose dictates and pronouncements must be obeyed at all times of their government. The next um, feature of fascism is that it denounces democracy. Denounces democracy. Fascism doesn't support democracy, which is government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Fascism is against such a government. The next feature of fascism I want us to look at is that fascism, the government of fascism controls all industrial activities. That means that government is in charge of all industrial activities of such a, um, a state or government. The next feature I want us to look at, apart from this, is that it rejects popular view. By this, it means that it doesn't welcome the opinions of the majority. Rather, it goes by the opinion of a few who are the, in government. The last feature I want us to look at is that it rejects the law of God and religion. Fascism doesn't believe there is God. Fascist rulers doesn't believe in God. They always believe in themselves and in what they do. So by this, we say that they don't believe in God or in any form of religion. Having said that, I want us to remember that I said that fascism is the extreme use of force by those in authority in dealing with the people under them. I equally said that fascism glorifies war and loves war through which they believe that through fighting war, they become friendly with their opponents. Having said that, I want us to go to totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. Totalitarianism is a system of government where everything, total, from that word total, when we analyze it, we, we say that totalitarianism is a, a system of government where everything, totally, total, totality of everything belongs to the government. This may be defined as a form of government in which one supreme authority controls everything and where there is no form of opposition. So everything that happens in a society is totally controlled by a government. And when such exists, we say that it is a totalitarian system. So having said that, I want us to progress by saying that here, citizens are state property. Mass media are under state control and the law are made in favor of the whims and caprices of rulers. So we say that totalitarianism or a totalitarian system is where rulers take total charge of what happens to the people. They rule by way of dictating or saying their own um, intentions and how they feel and how they um, want to rule the people by their own personal intentions and dictates. So we call such a system a totalitarian system. And it's a, a part of fascist system, which means that it's noted by extreme use of force to rule a people. Now let us look at the features of totalitarianism. First feature of totalitarianism is that it's, it's a censorship system whereby the, the um, culture of the people and information outlets are censored or gagged. Another word for censorship in government is known as gag. Gagging of information. That is monitoring of whatever happens to the information outlet and so on and so forth. So in a totalitarian system, these are measured or censored by the government of the day. So the second feature, apart from totalitarianism, is that there is supreme authority that controls everything. Supreme authority that controls everything. Having said that, I want us to take a cue from what I have said. I want to ask you, what are other features of totalitarianism? Okay, yes. Emeka? Okay, that's very fine. You did well. In line with what he has said, he has said that there is absence of, of any form of opposition. In totalitarian system, you dare not oppose the government of the day. Whatever they say is final, just like in fascist system. Then another feature of totalitarianism is that one political party is dominant. There is always one political party. There's never 
any avenue for opposition to crop up. Rather, opposition is never adhered to in a totalitarian system. Then another feature of this system is that there is state control of mass media. The state or the government controls the mass media of such a system. Arbitrary system of government. In this system also, there is arbitrary rule. Arbitrary rule, like I told you, that word arbitrary means ruling not in line with the constitution. Rather, you rule um, contrary to what the constitution says. So, such a, a, a system, which is totalitarian system, doesn't rule according to the constitution. Rather, it rules by dictates and pronouncements of the rulers. The next feature of totalitarianism is that there is ab absence of rule of law. Absence of rule of law. That is the next feature of totalitarianism. And that is the final feature I want us to look at today. So having said that, we are through with fascist system, which comprises totalitarian system as a sub, um, as a sub, um, topic. Now, having said that, let us take down these questions. I want you to define fascist system. I want you to say three features of fascist system which are not in line with the ones I've discussed already. I want you to define totalitarian system. Then I want you to say three features of totalitarian system which are not in line with the ones I've mentioned already. God bless you.